I realized on my channel I haven't really done one of these videos yet since I moved in So I was thinking why not we just kick off the new year with a deep clean video You guys really liked my deep cleaning videos back in my old room So now we have like a whole apartment bright and early in the morning and I was thinking let's start with my room I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an overview of what it looks like as of right now If you guys have seen my room makeover on this room You guys are probably really familiar with my room in general, but if not I would highly recommend watching it honestly this isn't too bad this whole area I just need to vacuum a lot my desk is always so messy it's honestly really really bad and I want to actually even clean out the drawers in here because normally with these cleaning videos I get kind of lazy and I only want to like clean the surfaces of things but I'm learning that that's not the best thing to do I mean clearly we need to wipe down the stuff as well and vacuum but I'm making a mental note to go through everything then over here it gets even worse but I have my bedding which I also need to clean up my chair is become a huge mess for just accumulating clothes but all of these pants I actually want to list on Depop are actually gonna get into my closet in like a second from now and my closet is really really bad and I really need to do a closet clean out in this video I just didn't even have enough storage to put in like the pants that I had so I already started pulling out pants I wanted to get rid of so expect these to be on the Depop and then my shelves over here aren't too messy at all either they are a little bit dusty though I don't even know if you guys can see actually you probably can this is getting really embarrassing we just need to take off everything and clean it and then I have like some stuff over there I need to go through it doesn't even fit in my closet because of like all of this and here we are getting into my closet you guys are probably noticing how different this looks and my dad actually brought up a whole second organizer to stack upon the one I had here so if you saw the original room makeover in my previous videos I only had these three rows here also I want to get it to a point where I can comfortably have my door shut I'm kind of embarrassed but one person commented on my videos about how distracting my closet doors are like when I have them open and I honestly think that is such a good point and I always feel so bad too because I always want to close my closet doors but I always have like stuff hanging on there like jackets and stuff because I never put anything away which is also kind of a bad habit of mine so honestly like thank you to the person that commented that stuff because I didn't realize like you guys were also noticing how messy it was too but now it's like motivating me even further to clean everything out in this video but basically after the closet that is pretty much my room that is the mini tour that you guys just got when you walk out of my room I also have the bathroom over here that we want to clean also sorry if it's kind of dark in here the lights are kind of weird where they get brighter after like five minutes of turning them on so it'll be brighter in like literally five seconds from now I mainly want to clean like the shower here and then maybe wash the shower curtain it has like a stain on here and then over here is the kitchen I need to take out that trash but the kitchen isn't too bad honestly it's a very very small kitchen so it's not like it's that hard to really manage also I don't know if you guys are familiar with my Whoa. Also, I don't know if you guys are really familiar with my living situation, but I do have two roommates. If you guys have watched the moving vlogs, like you would probably know that. And we all kind of just take turns, I guess, like cleaning stuff when it needs to be cleaned. I just also wanted to point that out, like if you guys just didn't even know that or anything. That way when I'm like talking about certain things in the common spaces, like saying we or like our stuff, like that's because like there's multiple people living here. Anyways, I think the first thing we're going to do in this video is actually the closet clean out. But also the main thing I want to do is take pictures of those clothes and also get rid of more clothes to take pictures for and do that right now because the sun is like coming through my room. It is so, so bright in here. So I think it's the most practical thing to do is just do the closet clean out. So far, here is what we're looking like for clothes that I'm getting rid of. I'm getting rid of some jackets, just a lot of pants, but also some sweaters in this skirt as well. I really want to keep this skirt, but I do have a skirt that's kind of similar to this that has shorts. This one doesn't have shorts and it's kind of short on me. That's why I never wear it and I need to stop holding on to things I don't really wear. Look at all of these clothes I'm getting rid of, guys. And now I think we're gonna get into vacuuming my floor. Just because there's a lot of my hair everywhere, which is kind of gross, but like it's getting in the way of everything else when I'm trying to clean. Also, I currently made myself a matcha and I'm watching my fam's podcast with Colin and Samir. You can do whatever with like. Okay, I know, like if they have that.
Okay, you guys, good evening. We are now going to get back to cleaning. Please ignore that sound. I have no idea what my neighbors are doing upstairs, but I think as of right now for this evening, I want to first do laundry. Obviously, that's gonna take a while, so I think the second thing we're gonna do is actually just clean the bathroom, but my floor is looking super, super clean. I also just had a friend over, so I wanted to clean up my room a little bit, so I put all of this stuff away. But we're gonna take this out right now, and we're gonna get to doing some laundry. I ended up cleaning the bathroom first, I realized I wanted to wash the bath mats and shower curtain with my wash. First vacuum the whole floor and then clean the toilet and bathtub. The drain was so clogged I had to schedule a maintenance appointment until further notice. But then I cleaned the cabinets and sink along with the mirrors, just your basic stuff. off the shower curtain to put in the wash and as you can see I'm also going to wash the bath mats and I'm taking these out now to take to the laundry room and while that was washing I vacuumed the common space areas like the hallways and the kitchen and I also took out the trash in the bathroom, which was the last thing I needed to do before putting everything back that was in the wash. And then I also took out the trash from my room. Okay, you guys, I think I got a lot of work done for today. I want to say that we're like 50% there. Obviously, it might look like I'm at least 80% or basically almost done, but I just know that desk is going to take such a long time. I also still need to wash like my actual sheets. Also, I got a PR package in the mail from Cleo, and I'm going to do a little unboxing. I should have honestly just filmed that whole entire clip from this angle. Just opened this earlier today from Cleo, and it's a whole like perfect base guide. There's like a bunch of skin prep that they included in here. Also, they came out with a new cushion foundation. I really, really like their cushion foundation, by the way. And this one has like a matte finish and like a lot more coverage. Also, it just has a lot more shades in general because like one of the things I just didn't like is how they only had three shades. But it looks like they opened a lot more shades as of recently and I hope they still continue to do that because I really, really do like their cushion foundations and I feel like everyone needs to try them. They sent over two of them. Then they also sent over a lot of skincare. They sent over the Dermatol retinol essence toner. I've actually been really liking to use retinol in my skincare. I've been using a retinol serum from Versed, which I also highly recommend. They also sent me two Goudal. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It looks like they sent me a retinol cream. Retinol pore tightening hyaluronic acid. Ooh, this sounds like a product I really, really love. Then they also sent these retinol lifting pads, which are from Dermatory. I'm actually so, so excited to use these. Thank you so much, Cleo. Sorry if that was so off topic but I really really do like these products all of the glitter and like eyeshadow I always wear and my eyeliners are all from Cleo like I use all of the stuff they always send me genuinely appreciate it so much because it's definitely like my favorite makeup brand currently I think as of right now I'm just gonna wait until my wash is done and I'll just get back to you guys once I'm done cooking dinner and when I'm putting away my laundry of my wash were done, I finished the bathroom by putting up the shower curtain and both bath mats. Then I continued to fold all of my laundry. I feel like with the amount of laundry I do in this video, it should definitely motivate you to do yours too because this is definitely not the last montage. Hey guys, I am almost done for today. I just finished putting away all of the laundry, but I'm also waiting for my last cycle of wash to finish up with my comforter and like sheets. And I'm so, so excited to go to sleep tonight in such a clean bed. As you guys can see, I moved these little bins here and this looks a lot more organized. I guess I'll just get back to you guys once I make my bed. Hello you guys. It has been quite a while since the last time I updated this video, but my room, 
is a big mess again. To sum it all up, I just got really, really lazy. And I kind of was dreading the most annoying part of this video, which was my desk. Now everything's dirty again. I am currently doing laundry all over again. I'm doing like four lows, but I'm not even gonna show you guys because I think I did laundry a whole lot earlier in this video. Here's what the desk situation is looking like. It's very, very crowded, and you guys are probably wondering how I even work on this. I basically just take the piles of stuff, put it on that little ottoman thing, and then move it back and forth. It's honestly so such a bad working habit in my opinion. And then once we're clearing this off, I want to also give it a really nice wipe down because it's very, very dusty. A whole layer of dust. Let's just hope this is the last day that we're working on this. My laundry just finished and I'm gonna go flip it real quick. Also, while I was cleaning, I found a lot of letters, but these I collected back at home on winter break. I only get to check it now when I'm back in Virginia. So these are all from back in like December and I've been meaning to write you guys back for the longest time, but I honestly feel horrible. And if any of you guys are the ones that sent me some of these letters, a lot of them are like Christmas ones, which are super, super sweet. Please don't worry, I am writing a letter and I apologize so, so much for the delay on it. It looks like it's Sophia, Gigi, Jasmine, and Carissa. You will receive a letter very, very soon. But yeah, let's get on into this. I'm actually getting a lot of progress done right here on my bed I have all of my laundry I just finished the whites and then I have two whole loads of colors It's currently in the dryer that I'll have to put away after this but for my desk It's not looking any cleaner on the top. I have been organizing the little drawers here This is still like a really really big work in progress like this drawer can be so accessible But I'm basically using it as like a junk drawer, which I hate I just finished doing like all three loads of laundry and put away as much as I could because clearly I have stuff hanging up and all over everywhere because the communal like laundry like in our building some of the dryers just don't dry the clothes all the way and I've said this in my videos before and it's just kind of embarrassing because now I just have clothes like everywhere and honestly it just made my room look even messier and I'm kind of annoyed by it but I know once everything's put away my room will be completely spotless before we do that I just want to make sure the desk is completely done and I was really confused on how to sort all of this and I think what better way to do that than just dump literally all of it out Okay guys, we're almost there. This was the last day I worked on my room and I decided to reorganize my crew neck and sweatshirt shelf. I think this was the last thing in my closet that I needed to do. I started from zero and just put everything back in a new and organized way. Like I put my concert merch in one stack and my embroidered hoodies in another and then like my basic ones in another. And I just feel like this made the most sense. You guys, I think I just finished cleaning my closet. I ended up having to move the towels that were over there to here just because I wanted to fit all of my sweaters on this top rack right here. I love how this looks. I feel like I can easily see what I own now. Another thing I should have done sooner was put a command hook on my door for my bath towel. As you guys saw, it would just hang up on my closet doors but since we're trying to keep those closed this was honestly more practical and I should have just done it sooner this was also the day I cleaned the kitchen I just did some dishes and gave the counters and appliances a nice wipe down with the sanitizing wipes wiped off all of the dusty surfaces in my room. I started with my nightstand and windowsill. I took off all of the candles and books and other random things to clean off super thoroughly. I 
also did my shelves which took a little bit longer but it was just nice to wipe down everything like even the books and sunny angels and everything were just so dusty i feel like you can obviously see a difference with how clean it is Okay, you guys, we are almost done. We just have to do a few more last minute things on the desk. My room is basically completely done. I just have to sell those clothes. So this is gonna be here like in the video, but you guys know this will all be gone by the end of the week once I post them on Depop. But I cleaned off all of my shelves and then I also made my bed just now. I also set up this little seating area. Also in my room makeover, I said I was gonna get rid of this when I bought the chair. I can't tell if it's like worth keeping or not, but I do actually use it. I also just have no idea where else to put this and then I also cleaned off my whole little windowsill area it's all spotless this was covered in dust I'm just procrastinating once again on this desk so let's get all these little things back to where they're supposed to be and also wipe off and do the final like cleaning like of my desk because it's seriously so dusty really dirty because I also do my makeup and everything on that desk and I also eat my dinner like at my desk so like it really needs to be wiped down My room is finally clean and I'm gonna give you guys the huge overview and kind of the after from what you guys saw before in the beginning of this video So when you walk in we now have my towel hanging up on my door when you look from my door and out to my room It's super super clean the floor is so spotless I do have to get rid of those clothes like I've been saying my bed is all made the Sun is setting right now So I have my lights on everything's super clean here I also decided to light a candle and then the biggest thing is probably Probably my desk. Oops, I almost forgot I need to put away this lighter. I just lit the candle. I have my desk completely cleaned off. I do have my laptop and also my planner in here and also my phone just because I was working before I was filming this video and I do like having my planner out here for my school stuff. You guys might think it's still a bit cluttered but I do have a small desk. Like I don't think you guys understand how small my desk is. It's definitely nice not having like a bunch of random stuff all over it. Like everything sitting on here is very much intentional. Also not not to mention, I feel like I forget that I basically cleaned the whole entire apartment, but when you go out into the bathroom, everything is spotless and all of the mirrors and stuff are spotless. Then going into the kitchen over here, it is also spotless, but I do have a pan out there because I am going to cook dinner like right after I end this video. So like I have my stuff out already. And yeah, I feel like this was definitely a very successful first ever deep clean the apartment with me. And I had so much fun filming this video. I love deep cleaning and I know you guys do too. If you guys made it up to the end of this video, comment down below this secret emoji. I like to see who's watching up all the way to the end. And also follow me on Instagram at CaitlinDeWitt underscore and also on TikTok as well. I've been super active on there. And then lastly, subscribe to my channel if you want to. We're really, really close to 300k. I just love and appreciate you guys so, so much. I'll see you guys all next week. Bye!